time for a franchise or stay single or single or franchise it. We're talking about this messed up one that actually is like, oh, holy freak. How did this get very, very muddy? We're talking about Terminator. Da -da 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 -da. Da -da 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 -da. So, Terminator, same as Child's Play over there, started in the 80s. Early 80s, believe it or not. Yeah, early 80s. Or it's like, yeah, maybe like a little bit earlier than that stupid crappy movie. So it happened. It actually was good reception. And then they got a second movie. Awesome. Then they decided to go over the deep end. And, well, you know, um, <laughs> they still are going with John Connor. But John Connor is played by someone else. And... All I can say is I think that's where everything fell apart was that one. It's like, yeah, that one fell apart. Wish they would have got the original guy. And now it's like right now as a recording is the original guy who played John Connor as a kid, lo and behold, is now in on actually saying, hey, OK, cool. I would like to do a movie now. And I'm like, you should have been wanting to do a movie in the third freaking damn it's like what the fuck man it's like you should have just been john connor you know you should have been john connor and you shouldn't have been foolish and i have no idea why in the world he hasn't able to reprise his role besides no oh, it's kind of a no name and we, we it's like the third one's kind of a no name too so the third one happened the third one actually started skynet so skynet is now starting this one is it starts with the origin of Sarah Connor, the fact that she's gives birth to John Connor, and of course, you know, we find out who's his daddy, and then well, the Terminator came back to take him out. And thank goodness they took out the Terminator, but but an arm was still present. So since this arm is still present, that's what made us get a sequel. The sequel decided to actually advance Skynet. So now Skynet has this gelatin-like Terminator that can turn into anything and is kind of more indestructible. What they have to do is destroy the freaking arm. Then they have to destroy a Terminator, which... They have destroyed the Terminator, new Terminator. The old Terminator, the one that we know, got sent back that was in quotations hacked or something and now it protects john connor so yeah they have to destroy that one too and then we get the third one where it's like oh well skynet is not done yet <laughs> so skynet actually somehow got a third version of terminator or technically second version with blue eyes i don't think we get to see that version ever again <laughs> but even so um is basically a battle to try to stop Skynet from happening, and Skynet was launched anyways. And of course, well, he did find a girl that is his wife, I guess. I'm not sure. We don't even see her in the new movie, do we? In the next movie? I don't think so. So, okay. And of course, those two were thrown away anyways. Those actors thrown away and got recasted, and now we have Batman. Batman is now playing as John Connor. He might have a love interest. I'm not sure. I think, yes, he does. So, yeah, she actually does carry over. And we get the new details of Skynet has some many other projects. And I guess technically they ripped off from Robocop just a little small bit. So they have one guy who actually decided to get killed or, or something. I forgot. I think, yeah, he was actually a bad guy. They actually have his body used for science, a.k.a. Skynet wants to make a brand new Terminator that actually is mostly human. And, well, they got him. He actually turned because he is more human than he is Terminator, even though he has Terminator parts inside of him. John Connor actually gets kind of killed. And, well, lucky for us, he's able to sacrifice his life after finding a love of his life centuries in the future. And, well, there you go. That's basically the whole entire thing. Oh, yes. Not to mention Michael Reese. Yeah, Reese was in this movie, and he's a kid, which, rest in peace, the person who played as young Reese. My goodness, it's a sad, tragic story about that guy. Yeah, definitely support his work. 
and hopefully his family will get more um, royalties. So yeah, that's basically happened with that one. And then we get to the muddier one. It's like, yeah, Salvation, pretty muddy, but I was okay with it. Yeah, the sad part is that <laughs> he came back. Oh my gosh. It's like, technically, I should have saw that coming. That's Arnold Schwarzenegger comes back in every single movie. <laughs> yeah, he actually does star in that movie too. And it's like, oh, what the fuck? I thought they strayed away from it because they don't really need to have him. No, they, yeah, they have him in there. All right. What the frick? So we get to the next one, which is Terminator Genesis. This one is where we get all hell breaks loose of where they decide to destroy the continuity and basically say that, yeah, now Sarah Connor is here to save Michael Reese. And it's like, yeah, and then it turns out John Connor is now freaking Terminator. Now he's a Terminator. It's like, so you're telling me getting the Terminator part of his heart made him change or no idea. So they really wrecked it here. I'm pretty sure that this is where they really, truly wrecked it. And then they decided to do terminator dark fate which dark fate is a twist of a timeline so newer timeline now because well they wanted to continue on with terminator genesis maybe terminator exodus not sure yeah but people didn't like it that much so they decided to be like oh well halloween did that so let's do it too and they brought back sarah connor the original sarah connor and now, because in this timeline, John Connor was killed, there is a new John Connor, and she is already born. It's like, yeah, this time is basically instead of being like, oh, well, we got to kill the mother of the savior. This time they're like, no, no, we're just going to kill the freaking savior before she even turns into. And it's like, OK, OK, then. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I think the girl, oh, yeah, they have some new enhancements to where um, women, men, whoever can be able to go toe to toe with a Terminator. But I think it wears on the body, though. OK, and that's where we are at. Most likely there might be more movies. I'm not sure this might be dated. But anyways, let's just get to the point of where. I'm pretty sure two movies was good enough. <laughs> oh, I forgot about the series. And the series was pretty damn good, but got canceled because Fox doesn't know shit. <laughs> um, when was the series? The series, I think, was before the fourth movie. The series decided to actually say, hey, here's John Connor. Here's Sarah Connor. They're moving ever so often. There's now a new Terminator. No, Arnold Schwarzenegger costs too much damn money. And plus, he's now the governor of California. So we give you a girl Terminator, just like in the third movie. Girl Terminator. There you go. And now we actually have some interesting. Po oh, yeah, they got and they actually are in the modern day at that time. So, yeah, they actually time gap to the modern day and skipped a few years. So. I thought it was good. I wish I would have grabbed the complete series. I didn't do that. But the thing is, is that they had it on Monday at eight and then they switched the time to something else. And that's where it's like, that's where you lost me. That's where you lost everyone is you move to time and day, you idiots. <sighs> But I'll allow that show. It's like, I'll allow that show. I'll allow the two first two movies, but everything else needs to be cut. It's like, they don't need to exist. How about that? It's like, yeah, just the first two movies. Pretty damn good. Third movie. Unless you are really able to actually slam them down and be like, hey, dude, you were in the second movie. We need you for the third movie. It's like you grown up good enough and you know what you signed on. You signed for more movies. So. Yeah, um, you're going to be with us. <laughs> it's like, yeah, you're going to be with us and we're going to call you at any moment. Be ready. You can't say no. You sign this contract. That's what they really need. And then when the woman, when the girl actually is the wife of him, she need to be sent to the crime track. She need to sign a contract just like that, too, where it's like now you're known as Mrs. John Connor. 
we're going to call you when the next movie comes. You have no choice but to show up. Okay, we don't know how many movies there are, but we're going to get like a decent movie deal. And there you go. That's what they really need to do. But I think the two movies. That's basically it. Just the two movies and maybe the TV show. That's about it. And if we have to have the third movie and the TV, then to have the TV show, fine. Fine. The third movie can stay, but I don't like it at all. Just those two movies and a TV show. That works.